So yeah, I busted a hole in my garage wall a couple of years ago, safe in the knowledge that this concrete beam would hold up the bricks above. That's actually a slab of concrete that runs under the full length of our front veranda. The hole is a great place for storing long things like my new stand-up paddleboard that's keeping, uh, that's wasting a lot of space in my garage and canoes and things. So what I want to do today is refurbish this space a little bit. Uh, it was a bit tight, it was a bit unorganized and the space was kind of wasted, especially when I had the new stand-up paddleboard to also fit in here. So initially what I'm doing is taking out some bricks so that just like I can make a wooden frame around the hole itself. I will put a new door into this um, space just to cover it up, make it nice and tidy. Uh, but initially uh, putting in some wooden frames for a door. Now, as always, I know what I want to achieve, but I'm not planning anything. So here you're seeing me just fiddling around with some wood just to get the frame right. I'm also using scrap wood, of course, which is usual for me. So it's taken me quite a while to figure out what I'm actually trying to achieve here and doing everything on the fly with no plans. You'll also see my very attractive little white pencil in my mouth. That's because I've come to realize through watching back these videos that uh, I stick my tongue out quite a bit when I'm concentrating on stuff and it's not at all attractive. So my little white pencil in this case is stopping me from sticking my tongue out and making the video ugly. Anyway, so I'm doing my best to uh, square it up and make it nice and neat and even and flat. Even using a spirit level, that's a bit huge, unusual for me. But uh, yeah, so the day warms up, the jacket comes off, the timber is going in, all lovely, lovely. I just had some bits of wood ramped down into this hole because the floor of the hole is actually lower than the floor of the garage but in this refurbishment I've decided I'm actually putting a proper level floor into the cubby hole and here I'm wedge fitting uh, some scrap timber of course beams and uh, some supports for that old chipboard that I was using initially but I'm not just going to have just the one little sheet of chipboard, I'm going to fill in the whole thing with a second layer of chipboard which will make it quite strong especially with these support beams I'm putting underneath and you will see me here in a second putting uh, some screws in a nice straight line which is also an unusual thing for me to do too I often just whack things in by eye but there you go and we're getting towards the end of the first long day and it's time to do a test fit to see how it all goes in the little cubby hole. So now you'll see what I'm doing here but uh, getting a little bit fancy uh, at this stage my bandsaw was really quite new uh, I can't remember how much I paid for this but it was really cheap so you know probably $120 or something like that that's cheap for a tool it's not brilliant but it works alright pre-drilling some holes uh, for nails so that the wood doesn't split Ham fisted as I am, I'm uh, using steel nails uh, to just drive straight into the masonry with a two pound lump hammer. Uh, none of this drilling holes and putting plugs in to screw into. Uh, I'll just whack, whack it in and it'll work out nice, of course. And, and you know, steel nails straight into concrete, it's pretty solid.
And with the floor in the cubby hole now, it is a small little crawl space for a big guy like me. So when you leave the hammer outside, it's a bit of a jiggle to get back in and out. But I'm getting this in place, it's pretty level. Uh, it's wedge fit against the wall, so it's uh, fairly self-supporting, but I'm also putting these notched supports under them, uh, so that it ain't going anywhere. You can see how nice and tight it is against the walls there because of the wedge fitting, but then uh, with the supports underneath, which is all good. In that black hole darkness ahead of me there is uh, the full length of the width of the house and at the other end the floor of the crawl space is uh, a lot taller not tall enough for me to stand up in but Rosie can stand up in it and that end of that space is Rosie's garden shed Rosie's the lawnmower person in our house and she keeps her lawnmowers and whippersnippers and stuff in that space so it's really handy Back up in my end, I'm pretty dang happy with how this turned out. It's just a simple project really, but a lot of space saved from my garage. And spoiler alert, I can tell you once the door goes on this, it looks pretty schmick. Mm -hmm.